Hey, what's going on? JD here, and I have another motion tutorial for you. Today, we're gonna ramp up some footage in motion. We're gonna kind of use a light beam paintbrush kind of effect, which you may have seen in a very popular Instagram account by the name of Blotter Media. You can check out what they do over there. But instead of buying a plugin, we're gonna utilize motion to do that exact thing. So let's just jump right into it. We're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna rename this first group to footage. This is where we're going to throw the footage that we recorded of the Rockstar can earlier. We're going to import that. The footage is exactly five seconds long. Luckily, our timeline is also that. You can change the timeline length if you need to. Uh, if you don't have to or shorten it, you can do that as well. But in our case, it's five seconds. That will work perfectly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new group. We're gonna name that airbrush. Because we're using the airbrush tool or the pen tool, we're using the basic airbrush in the pen tool. As you can see, you can select your brush color, I am using pen pressure because I am drawing this on a tablet so I can ease my strokes in and out each time. If you're doing this with a mouse, you will have to change the width. You can't run with the 65 pixels that I'm probably running with right now. With a mouse, you would have a very, very thick stroke. Then we add the glint filter and this will give it that nice glow. So you can change everything from exposure to the color of the tint. You can also change the glint size. You can add the number of streaks. I don't like to add tons and tons of streaks because it gets really liney really, really fast. You can add some softness. We're gonna do that. Uh, and you can change the glow amount and we're gonna change that a little bit as well. You can change the angle that the light streams come off. As I mentioned, I don't like to use those terribly often. And then, you know, that's looking pretty good. We're gonna select basic airbrush and then we're gonna select O on the keyboard. And what that essentially does is tells motion that that is the end of the clip. Otherwise the clip would run through the entirety of the project and that's not what we want. Because our can is moving and we want an animated looking effect, we need to make sure that the light moves with the can. So we have to make sure that after we draw each section, that we tell motion that we want it to end after that frame. If you were doing it on a still object, you could do it much easier, much quicker. There is a different method to do that, but because we're moving with something with motion, we're going to continue to do it this way. So as you can see, as we scrub through, you can see the motion already starting to be created and we continue to add in those lines frame by frame by frame. So as we continue to airbrush these lines in, I like to make sure that, you know, it's moving a way that I like it. You know, I will scrub back and forward quite often while doing this kind of animation just to make sure it's got a look that I like. If there's anything sort of out of place or maybe I don't cut the clip in the right place and the line moves over too far and it doesn't look like it's highlighting the outside of the can, I will definitely go back and erase and take a look and do it again. You know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, kind of repeatedly doing it till you'll get a look that you like. You know, again, this is a time intensive process, but the effect works very, very well. It works well on anything where you can spend the time drawing. And in fact, you can animate full characters in the background if you so choose using this method. So we're gonna jump ahead and you can see we've you know completed, there is probably 60, 70, 80, 90 frames there to get the full animation to have the electricity travel from one side of the can to the other. 
So there you have it. That's how you do the light brush animations in motion. It's very, very straightforward. You don't need any special plugins. All the tools are there for you. You can ramp up your video. It's one of those very popular effects right now in 2019. So it may fizzle out over time. But again, the skills that you learn here can be applied to different things later on. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Remember, if you did, smash that like button, click subscribe, and remember to hit that bell. Until next time, see ya.